Hi, and welcome back to this channel. Today, I would like to talk to you about counter-controlled while loops. Actually, in Java programming, the while loop can take various forms. In this video, I will show you how to use the counter-controlled while loop. So this counter-controlled while loop is used when you know exactly how many times your while loop action statements need to be executed in your program. For example, if you want to create a program in which a set of statements need to execute a specific number of times, you can then set a counter that will be used to control or track how many times the action statements are executed in your program. Let's use the example on the screen to illustrate. So this portion of code on the screen here is a typical example of a counter-controlled while loop. As you can see, we have started by setting up and initializing a counter variable that will be used to track the number of times our action statements will be executed. Next, we have our loop condition inside the bracket here. And that loop condition is used to test the counter variable or the loop control variable. Down here, the number 20 represents the number of times the action statement needs to execute. So that means that if the value of the variable counter is less than 20, the statements in the body of our while loop will execute. And the loop will continue to execute until the value of the variable counter here is greater than 20. So in the body of our while statement here, the action statements are going to be executed as long as the condition evaluates to true. And also the value of the variable counter is going to be incremented and updated as long as the condition evaluates to true. So if I run this, so this is what we get in the console. Get the statement is executed. 19 times because here it is strictly less than 20. If I put less than or equal to 20, you will see that I will get the last statement will be the statement is executed 20 times. All right. So let's take another example that will be a bit more complex and allow us to understand how to use the counter control while loop. In this example, we are going to create a program that will help us to calculate the summation and the average of numbers entered by the user in our program. So I'm going to delete this. So one thing we can also note is that we will use some of the concepts we saw in our previous videos, like uh, concepts about if else statements and uh, the scanner object as well. So since we want the program to prompt the user to enter data using the keyboard, we need to add an input object. So I'm gonna add that input object here. And this is how you add the input object. It says static scanner. And that input object, I'm gonna call it console. A new scanner inside the bracket, I'm gonna say system.in. So this is to specify that we want to use the default input device and we need to import the scanner class like this. So next we have to declare the various variables that will be used in our program. So the first variable will be a variable that will help us to store the numbers entered by the user. So I'm going to say integer and I'm going to call that variable number like this. The second variable will be used to hold the summation of our, uh, of the numbers entered by the user. So I'm going to say integer sum, I'm going to call it sum. And I'm also going to declare another variable that will be used to hold the value of the average of the numbers entered by the user. And I'm going to call it average. And this in a semicolon. Next, we are going to declare a variable that will be used to limit the number of integer values the user will be authorized to enter in our program. It's also going to be an integer variable that I'm going to call limit, like this, and semicolon. Finally, since we are going to use a counter-controlled while loop in our program, we need to declare 
a counter variable. I'm gonna say integer and I'm gonna call this variable counter. So this variable will be used in our while loop. So after declaring the variables, the various variables in, uh, in our program, we need to write an output statement that is going to prompt the user to input data in the program. So we will say system that out that print line like this and in here i'm going to write please enter the number my bad that that will be used as the limit and then put the semicolon like this so the next statement we are going to write will be the statement that will allow the user to enter an integer value from his keyboard into our program and we say that uh, we are using the class uh, the scanner object and so i'm gonna call um use the variable limit here and i'm gonna use my scanner object console that next int semicolon so the value entered will be stored in the variable limit here okay the next portion of code that we need to write is the while loop statement but before we write our while loop statement we need to initialize the various variables that will be used in the while loop statement so these variables the first one is going to be the variable sum okay we, because we're going to use it in our while loop statement and the second one is going to be the variable counter we will initialize it by giving it the value zero then we are also going to add an output statement that would prompt the user to enter the values. So I'm going to do system that out that print line, and I will say like this: great, you can now type type in, and I will say limit here the variable limit integer numbers and semicolon. Right after that. I am now going to write the while loop statement. So in this while loop statement, the condition would check whether the counter is less than the value stored in the variable limit here, okay? So I will say while, my condition will be counter less than limit. And also, as you can note here, the variable counter here determines the number of times our input values are going to be read by the compiler. So now if this condition is met, I need to write some statements that will be executed. The first statement will be an input statement that will allow the user to input the numbers. So I will say number because that's the variable that we declared up here. Say number console that next int semicolon the second statement will operate the sum of the numbers entered by the user so i will say sum equal sum plus number then finally the third statement will be used to increment the variable counter so i will simply say counter like this or say plus plus okay and outside of the while loop, I am now going to write the output result of the summation of all the input numbers. So in order to do that, I need to use an output statement. So I will say system that out that print line. Then I'm going to say the summation of all the numbers is equal to and I'm concatenation. I will say variable sum like this, then semicolon. So we can also add an if statement, and that if statement will allow us to print a message in case there is no input in the program. So I'm gonna say if variable counter is different from uh, zero, then I want the average must be equal to sum, the summation divided by the counter, the variable counter, like this, semicolon. And then I'm just going to put a system that out, that print line. And in here, I'm going to say the average of all the numbers is average. Then I will say else, 
system that out i will say there was no input semicolon so once everything is set up correctly you can now run your program now if i run you will see what will happen so i'm get i'm getting please enter the number uh that will be used as a limit okay so i'm gonna enter the number here let me say five for example and then press enter i'll say great you can now type in five integer numbers let me expand this so i'm gonna say two um five six nine um ten for example and then i'll press press enter now you can see the summation of all the numbers is equal to 32 and the average of all the numbers is six so if you add up all these numbers you will definitely get 32 and uh, the average of all the numbers is you know six so that is about the counter controlled while loop in the next video i will talk to you about another form of while loop structures uh, that is the sentinel controlled while loop so thanks for viewing i hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one let's meet in the next video